they're trying to play off. Cam got to step up, shooting with confidence, or uh, eat up space on the drive. Collapse the defense. Once he touches the paint, drive, find the open man. Same thing for Vando. Ball hits him, and he just can't hold it. Be confused. He called them out, not himself? Yeah. You put them two sorry motherfuckers in the game. Nobody told you to sub a dude who averages 1.5 and put him as a starter. Right? That's that's your like when you're gonna take responsibility for the lineups you're putting out. Like you have the the Lakers starting five, the way it was, they were only averaging 82 points as a starting five, which is yeah. low. Well, right? considering LeBron and AD averaging 50. 50. 50. Yeah. So the rest of your team, that the, the rest of your starters is only putting up there. That is a low starting five. 82 points is low. Now you sub in Van and take out Russ, which pushes you down to 68 points a game. Just to show you how bad that is, the worst team in the NBA, the Detroit Pistons, they're averaging 69. <laughs> <laughs> They're averaging 73 points as a starting five. So the Detroit Pistons starting five is better than the Lakers starting five right now in per point production. What, what defense are you looking for? Yeah. Who, who? They, they, ain't nobody. You need to be, in order for, for, for them to justify the defensive, like, oh, they're supposed to be defensive guys. They need to be Dennis Johnson. They need to be Alvin Robertson. They need to be they need to be Dennis Rodman or somebody somebody on the ball like that. But you can't you cannot give me one point. Let's just say Vando gives us two three, and and Cam Reddish gives us eight. Come on, bro, that's not enough. Eleven points and we got guys and you're playing twenty five to thirty minutes. Three and eight points is not enough. It's just not. It, 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 you you got three got like. AD is a defensive player. LeBron is a defensive player, but he's 39. I got enough defense to put all offense, right? right? I, have, I have guys who can block shots to put enough offense out right. there, right? This is crazy because their losses, they scored 94 points, 101, 94, 109, 108, 110, 111, 115. You're not, you can't score, right? You're not moving fast enough with the unit you have. You know what this reminds me? What he did right here reminds me of the 2000. It was a two. Is it the 2020? The 2000. The 20, the, the 2020 Clippers mm -hmm. team. Where they use. This is the deepest team. They got the deepest yeah. bench. You got the deepest bench because your starting five was sorry as right. shit. Right, you start in five. You had because you break, yeah, because you break, you bring in Sweet Lou and Trez, and they close. They play, they play in more minutes as, as reserves than your starter. Other than yeah, Kawhi, you, you, and got 40, you got forty points coming off the bench with two players. Of course, your bench is deep. So your bench was number one in the NBA in scoring. Your starting five was twenty fifth. You're averaging sixty nine points because you got Zubak, Pat Bev, and Mo, who's averaging seven, eight, and five. You're not deep. You got. Four players, five. You got four players. Right. That's it. You're just trying to trick. And two of them come off the bench. The line. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 you're trying to take two starters, put them off the bench. But, oh, yeah, we got this this deep team. Because you know in the NBA, it's hard to blow a team out in the first five, six right. minutes. Right? So, you know, at the six-minute mark, so, you can sub in your two guys and then get the rolling and let these guys get a little bit of minutes. Right? Oh, you you, you did good, boys. Now go sit down and let the real players get in. I hate, I hate, I hate lineups like that. Right, you try. You're just trying to trick like your team is good, but knowing damn well if a team got old nine and old in the first one minute of the game, uh, get y'all asses out, <laughs> Trent, get y'all asses in, right? And that happened. <laughs> that happened a it couple did. times. But you have to have a balanced team, and the fact that you have Rui Austin and Russell coming off the bench, like, oh yeah, we got you know forty some points coming off the bench. Yeah, you got forty some coming off the bench, but your starting five is only scoring sixty right. points, right? You got LeBron James and and AD scoring fifty, and you got the other three guys they're putting in ten. Like, stop, stop these dumbass lineups. Because and and here's the thing, and you tell me these guys, but they still can't stop dribble penetration. Guys are still getting past no. Vando. They're still getting past Cam. And they're kicking the ball to the corner for wide open threes. 
So if if you're supposed to be a defensive guy, if you're not going to get – here's the thing. If, if I'm not an offensive guy, and this is where I approach it, uh, uh, Gil, when I play football, I've got to be more of an asset in the passing game than I am a liability in the run game. So in other yes. words, if you are a liable, you've got to be a tremendous asset in the defensive end if you're a liability on the offensive end if you're a basketball player. And right now, uh -huh. you're a liability on both. So it's basically you becoming unplayable because I don't know how you play. Guy's going to give me two points, and then he's letting guys get past him and I got to slide AD, and the guy's passing the ball, and the guy's laying it up, or some a help got to come, and he's kicking it to the corner, bro. What are you doing? I never, I never understood that, and 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 it's weird because I would love to ask a defensive coach why they put these lineups in. I'm an offensive player. I bred offense, right? The worst player that I wanted to see was someone like me that I had to right. guard. He going to make you work. He got to I did not want to face me. Patrick Beverly's? Whoa! Oh, it's it's trouble for you, homeboy, cuz you're only you're here to play defense not offense, so I'm resting half right. the time. I'm giving you my all. That means it's like boxing, right? I get to punch you, but you got your hands tied. I get the punch on you while your hands side. The fact that you, you're going to take three, four shots a game, why am I paying attention to you? That is the easiest night for me because there's no way you're going to stop me from taking 20, 30 shots. But I don't have to give you no effort on the, the defense. The defense. I, get to say, I get to say, and the worst player I wanted to play was someone scoring like me because he's embarrassing right. me now. Right? So if I'm playing against the Lakers and I'm – Trey Young, hell yeah, I want to play against Cam all day. You ain't embarrassing me. You ain't you ain't doing nothing. You just get to play defense all day. And I don't I don't understand why they put these lineups out there because you're you're helping the offensive right. team because you're you're handicapping yourself. You're playing three on five on offense or two on five right. on offense, and you're not good enough. The rules aren't made. My offense of book is a hundred times better than any rules you can put in. And that's the difference in today's game. Back then, it was 60-40 defense to offense, mm -hmm. right? You know, you dribbled a certain way. You only had a certain amount of moves. Now the moves today, I can, I can hold it a little bit. I can do I, my career. So now it's basically 90 to 10, right? There's no rule they can put in that hand checking all that dumb what people talk. There ain't no hand no. checking that can stop these moves no. today and pee in progress. That is that is that is trash. Yeah. All of it. It was trash when it was and in. You got so I mean, guys can shoot the ball better and guys can handle the ball better. You got two or three guys mm -hmm. on every team that can make you look stupid handling the ball. Everybody got that, everybody got that pool. Everybody got the hands. Yeah. Okay, I'm going the and one. I mean, yeah. how many guys we see that? Everybody doing that. I mean, guys like who the who the hell are you? Where you get that move from? Yeah. So the likelihood yeah. of you bringing somebody, oh, he's a defensive stopper. Oh, he go, man, them guys are too good. They too skilled. Too skilled. It's it's you you. If I want to hunt a lion, I need a lion. A gazelle ain't going. He ain't yeah. going. He, he, he going get yeah, exactly. Me. He's lunching me. It's weird, right? Um, D'Lo said he wanted to be Derek White. We all laughed. Please be Derek White. God damn it, I beg you to be Derek White now. Because Derek White didn't want to just be a liability. I'm just a defensive right. player. See, there you go. That's the difference between Boston now, right? You got, you know, you got the unicorn over there, which ha added extra yes. offense, right? You would have you would have thought that. Derek White would be more of a defensive player because he don't need to score. He upped his yes. scoring up. Yes. And that's what the La that's what the Lakers need. D'Lo, I need you to up your production, right. not digress. Right. If you put right, these guys need to up and up, not because if you put pressure on the opposing team, I mean, maybe it takes some of that zap out of them, and they're not able to give you that work. No, no. Listen, when you when you're trying to score, my 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 one thing that I always went into games with when I had to play against um, 
AI, when I had to play against Steve Francis, when I had to play against um, Mulberry. I'm a, I'm coming at you first. I'm going to come at you so hard that it makes you not want to play offense, thinking that if you don't shoot, I don't shoot. NBA players really think that's the thing. But if I don't shoot against him, he won't shoot against me. Okay, that's your fault. And, and, and what I did when we started off the games that I was playing against the, the, the high-level guards, the Steve Nashes, I'm trying to give them buckets early to set the right. tone. I can't let Steve Nash come and pick me to death. If you look at my games with Steve Nash, I made him a score. Like when you when you look at our matchups against Steve Nash, he wasn't having 15 and 17 assists, 30, 40. Like you're going to have to match me point for point if you want to keep up. You're not going to be able to try to sit there and get your guys, I'm scoring too fast, makes you want to score too. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, I got to take some of that zap. Like my grandma used to say, okay, y'all stay out all night. You go into church in the morning. Now nah, you're not been, you're oh, yes. not been to lag back there. If they, hey, oh, uh-uh, I'm going to give you a bucket. You're going to get this. You got to uh -huh. make them work. Yeah. And uh, that's not happening. So it's going to be very interesting to see what his starting lineup look like tomorrow. The Laker players are reportedly frustrated with Darvin Ham's decision about starting lineup and their role. Frustration with players' roles and fluctuating minutes. Uncertainty regarding their roles and inconsistency in playing time. The communication gap between player between coach and staff and players appears to be widening, with players expressing co confusion over the mixed messages they receive. Reports say criticism has been directed at Ham's lineup choices and rotation, particularly perceived inconsistency in handling struggling, struggling players. Some players like Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura reportedly face shorter leashes than when encountered difficulties, while other players, Torian Prince, Cam Reddish, enjoy longer leashes despite struggles on the court. We saw that. They had no problem putting Austin Reeves on the bench. Remember he's struggling to start the season? No. Well, we talked to all yeah. there, and you know, we felt it would be best for him to come off the bench. Okay. What about them other guys? Yeah. But, but, but Ham was a defensive player, I, I think. Yeah. Right. I don't remember. He was, on, he was on the bench when I was playing. Yeah, he's right? a defense. He was on the bench. He didn't, get in, he didn't get in the game. But most likely, he was a defensive player, one of those guys that hustled. And that's his yeah. mindset. Right. You got a little bit of in you, and you're looking for it on the court. Like these guys play the right way. Well, it's not the right way if they're not winning, right? Of course, Austin Reeves, Rui, and D'Angelo will be mad. They're your offense. Yes. So they miss two or three shots, you put them on a the bench. These guys don't even take three shots in their plan, right? So now you got – now what ends up happening is you start – you start looking at the guys as enemies instead of teammates. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, right? Absolutely. You start putting division inside the locker room because they're getting minutes that they haven't earned. Right, he he took three shots. He he did this, and he plays thirty minutes. Now, what does that do to someone like D'Angelo? Right? Oh, if I don't do nothing, if I don't shoot, if I don't make no mistakes, I play longer. Right? Because that's what he's doing right. with this guy. Right? So the fact that at this point in the season you're still having fluctuation problems, let you know you don't know what's going on right now. You're still trying to find stuff, and instead of building on that 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 championship midseason. In season, mid season, whatever the season, beginning right. of the season, right? You're supposed to be building confident. That was supposed to boom, right. boom, 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 and take right. off, right? You have Rui, Rui, and D'Angelo should be starting, or Reeves and De Cam and Cam and Prince both should no. be starting. Nor Vando, no, no, those three, no, two of those hell three should no. not be starting. I didn't. I didn't even. I, I didn't even look at him as a starter. That 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 that, that looks like a friend hookup. Yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> like, that, like you like you lost a bet. He looked like you lost a bet. Like all right, I'll, I'll, yeah. you know, <laughs> like I put him. I put right. him in. Right. He's not a. He he shouldn't even be playing minutes right now. They weren't worn. They weren't earned. Right. You can't just say all right. We're gonna go from averaging one and put him in. And I'm sitting there. I'm also like, wait a minute, man. I'm averaging 15 points 15. a game. Solid. And you ain't even. I mean, yeah, you ain't thinking about me as a starter. What's wrong right. with you? That happens, yeah. Uncle. Like, you're getting minutes. Think about it. You're getting minutes that you didn't deserve, and you think I'm cool with it? I, no. Because I'm watching. There's not one time that Jerry Vanderbilt has shot a shot outside, and it doesn't shoot many, that I actually thought it was going in. 
be I'm watching on television or I'm actually sitting at the game. Not one time does he shoot a shot. And I was like, oh, man, that's good. Hell, even when he so laid the ball, even when, when he, like, driving the ball, he go flip it up left-handed. I'm like, that ain't going in. So what is this man doing on defense? Looking at LeBron? Looking at Anthony Davis? I got the night no. off. <laughs> no, your job, your job isn't the funnel. Your job is yep. to D up because you give us nothing offensively. Like I said, you mm -hmm. got whatever it is, you got to be a bigger asset than a liability. So he has to be mm -hmm. a bigger asset on the defensive end because we know he's a liability on the offensive end. But if mm -hmm. he gives us nothing on either, now all of a sudden he's no good. But, what, what, if you wasn't playing him at the beginning of the season, there was a reason. Don't play his ass now because you you feel you need to change shit up. No, you need to get everybody thinking the right way. You need to get everybody in tune with what their game right. is. You think D'Angelo is coming off the bench to to this guy? Yeah, you that's think the he's thing. Happy yeah. About yeah. It? Like, I, like Cam, like you putting Cam on the bench, what's that gonna do? He gonna get he get you five. We're gonna give you five <laughs> coming off the bench. Cool. <laughs> like well, I'm not losing nothing right. there, right? But that is something that 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 bleeds a locker room where you're looking at somebody in front of you that ain't him, right? So you ain't cheering for him, right? You put a guy in that can't shoot the ball. He's, and I'm sitting here, we sit here like, all right, we, you know, we're going to play team ball. Like, right, you, you start, you start Rui or Austin, you start Russell or Austin. Trust me, their production is going to get better because you, you, that, that, you show confidence a, a six, in them. The fact that you don't, there, there shouldn't be, you, you shouldn't be at this place right now. Like you, you shouldn't be right here right now. This is 